Hey guys, it's JC4R. Now that I have control and I understand that the game is happening, we are here to play Limbo. Now, um, that right there is an achievement, and there's a bunch of those, so if you pop a bunch, there's a super secret level, I guess. But, um, I don't know where they all are. I've never played this game before. I've seen two playthroughs, one by Josh Jepsen, one by Steven Amal. That's it. So I have a vague understanding of what's going on, but I've never played it before myself. I figured it'll be a nice short game we can go ahead and tackle. And, uh, I also thought it was kind of funny how it's coincidentally right before a spooky scary month. So, there's that. I don't know how to... Alright, so first, firstly, there's like nothing in the fucking settings. So, it took me a while to figure out how to get this into, um, what you call it windowed mode so I could actually record it. But I see how to jump, but it, like that control screen doesn't exactly tell me how to how to grab. It just says, yeah, grab. But I don't understand. Is it the B button? Hold on. Yeah, the B button? I don't know. Now I'm also very careful because I do know about some of the booby traps. Like, those are spikes of evil. And... I know there's a bear trap up ahead, but that's... I, I don't really remember. Alright, here's our chance. It's, in fact, the B button. Now we jump up. Yeah, there you go. So, simple platformer, very artistic. Uh, I mean, I like it. And before anyone even says anything, which I'm sure they won't, I, I don't care about inside. Not playing inside, no interest in inside. Saw inside, didn't like it, that's it. And... Like, there was someone who tried getting in an argument with me about how could you like Limbo n but not like Inside. It's made by the same person. That doesn't fucking matter. Like, <laughs> it's the same way you can like Metroid Prime but not like Metroid Prime 2. The same way you can like Mario Party but not like Mario Party 2. It's, it's not fucking rocket science. Also, uh, Limboy... Limbo Boy is super fragile, so if a, a height from a certain, a jump from a, a fall from a certain height could kill him. Um, he can't swim. That's one of the things they changed in Inside, is they gave you the ability to swim, and I feel like that's 90% of the gameplay of Inside is swimming. There's no direct narrative, so it's all open into it to interpretation. So. That's pretty cool. I think we need the boat, don't we? Yeah, because we can't make that jump, so we gotta drag the boat with us. You'll be alright. There you go. Pla puzzle platform solving. I love the art style, though. I think it's I think it's a lot more interesting to be like pure silhouettes over. I don't know what the hell you describe inside as, other than just black and white. Like, it's far more detailed, but something about the simplicity and, I guess, lack of effort makes this a little bit more interesting to me as well. So artistically, I think it's a lot better. Where, oh, where are the booby traps at? Right there, by the looks of it. You see, they look like grass, but they're not grass. They're fucking evil! Can I make the jump? That's a yes. Uh, can I make that jump normally? Hold on, firstly, can I push this? That's also a yes. So technically, I can just replicate what I just did. Because, um... Yeah, homeboy here is not exactly the most reliable jump in the world. So he's going to be having some deaths. No, the only reason I didn't run back is because I was like, you know, I have no idea where I put that bear trap. So I didn't want to run back super far and then um, risk running into it, so I just kind of did a stationary jump. But we're going to put this so far back that I know there's absolutely no chance of me stepping on it this time. But again, even if I do understand certain things, it doesn't mean I'm not going to get the shit killed out of me, because I'm sure I will. There you go. Or there would just be things I don't notice. I just always, like, that first bear trap is always the most memorable. But, uh, the rest, not so much. I need to jump to you, don't I? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, no, I remember. So now, what we need to do is, can I get it up there? 
No, I can't. Okay, so I don't need to do that. I need to go find another one then. Meaning it's probably right down here then. Yeah, I see it right there. And that ought to do it. See, it's so dangerous, so spooky, scary. Go! Oh! I made it. Now, the thing that's kind of awkward about this game to me, though, is the fact that there's no music. So, like, there's ambient noises, but, like, it's only awkward to me because I know it's, like, if there's any issues with my microphone or any point points where I'm super silent, it'll show. Oh, hi. He made friends with my brain. But, yeah, no, any, like, super silent parts or whatever, like, that's gonna stand the fuck out, so I gotta... Try and be super consistent, commentator man. It's it's very subtle in the music department. Okay, I thought there was gonna be a super evil trap down there. This this is a game where it's like being paranoid is okay because you can expect the game to be out to get you because it probably will be. Um, I fell. I can hold on a second. Let me. Okay, I thought I felt my controller rumble, and like I know it sounds fucking terrible, but rumbling is one of those things that's like we're so accustomed to we don't even think about it anymore. Yeah, like right there. I think it rumbled, but I'm not sure. And if it has rumbled, I've never noticed it on this controller before. Yeah, you're the box. I need you. Like, last night I was recording um, some stuff on the Wii U, and I don't play... I've got an Afterglow, which is basically like an off-brand pro controller kind of thing, and that thing doesn't rumble. And I realized that because I could hear the Wii U gamepad going Arrgh! all up on the floor, and then when I put it on the station hoping maybe that would solve the problem, it just kept rumbling and rumbling, and I was like, holy shit. You need to calm down, my friend. Yeah, this controller rumbles. I just noticed it right there. But yeah, no, like, that's one of those things we, we don't even think about. We kind of take for granted now. Man, I'm doing terrible jumps, but I'm getting lucky. That's okay, but I want to say there's uh, a secret up here. Is that a rope I see? I think I see a rope. Yeah, I do. Right there. If I can get to it. How do I get to it, though? Another one where it's like I always notice is um, whenever you win during Smash, and then it's like results, and then the controller like has a heart attack and all that, and you really notice it fucking rumbles then, but like when you're playing game, there you go. You're just so used to it, you don't even think about it anymore. At least that's how I feel. Like, unless you're looking for it, like, it's just so second nature. We're so used to it and stuff like that. Altitude is attitude. I'm safe to go down, right? Yep. Yeah, because if I jump off these trees, I'm toast. Oh, that was a close jump. Oh, that was a close jump, too. But alright, we made it. Push! Hello, flies and or be- oh. I need to push it farther. I thought I was just going to sail. A little bit more. That should hopefully do it. I don't know. I don't think it will. I did. Um, a cool thing, though, that I will give all the praise in the world to about inside is the fact that the recording, like the audio, the sound design they did for that game- Oh, hi there, Bear Trap. I can see you up there. It was all um, recorded and then played back inside of a human skull and then re-recorded and I think that's the coolest fucking thing. Come on. Do your... How do I make it? I think I just gotta make a bunch of noise and it just falls on its own, I think. 
Give me a stab, my friend. Yep, there it goes. Oh, I thought it fell all the way. That was just your hint. Yeah, but see, this one, this is a tricky puzzle if you don't know what to do. So. That sounds like it fell over to me. Alright, now I want to be able to get onto the other side of this, though. So how can I... We're just gonna have to hope. Ha! We hoped and it worked. Alright. Spider friend. I have an offering to give you. It is my friend, the Bernstein Bears. And he says hello. Say hello to the Bernstein Bears. You'd think after the first time he would have learned. Ah! Oh, he got me that time. Always get someone. <laughs> the best part was I was criticizing. I was like, you think he learned his lesson by now? And he fucking learned all right. He learned real goddamn quick, didn't he? Oh, that was funny. I like that. That was enjoyable. I enjoyed getting... Ah, what the fuck? I didn't do that. <laughs> I blunk, and then all of a sudden I'm like... Like I told... I'm like, yeah, limb boy run to the right and then next thing I know I blink and he's inside the fucking bear trap holy shit don't blink when playing this game that's a mistake and a half say hello I said say hello alright so so we're not making that mistake again right move Now, is he going to do that every time or just that one time? Alright, I think that's it. Oh, no, wait! Oh, okay, the bear trap's dead. That's one thing I consider about how terrible Australia is, is giant spiders. Now, obviously, I don't know how factual that is, but when you see pictures of, like, a fucking spider on the side of someone's house and it's covering up their entire window, that's a big fucking case of the nopes. And, like, think about if you killed that spider and all its little juices just start erupting out of it. That's so gross. thought I saw something. This is oh, it's terrible because I'm playing this at daylight. What time is it right now? It is 3.30. Not like I generally tried. Oh, am I in a spider's web? I guess I am. All right. Well, that's it. We're toast, my friend. Yeah. No, I generally try not to play. After Wolf, I've learned don't play computer games during the daylight. Cause right now I've got the sun literally almost in my face completely. <laughs> 